Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. I want to pause and say thank you all for the wonderful ways in which you watched us, those ways in which you were there with us in person at the fountain. Didn't the Lord bless on yesterday? I don't know about you, but I look forward to every first Sunday where we do the breaking of bread and the sharing of God's good news. You know, it is just so awesome how we come together on a Sunday morning to give God praise. You know, there's always a blessing in being in the number. I remember we used to sing the song, I'm glad to be in the service one more time. It didn't say I'm glad that we're watching the service one more time. So we say thank you so very much. We appreciate you liking and sharing. This day, I'd like to ask that you look with me on this marvelous Monday as Psalm 112, another Psalm of David. David starts out this Psalm by saying, praise the Lord. How joyful are those who fear the Lord and delight light in obeying his commandments. You know, I could stop right there and talk all day. David begins by saying, praise the Lord. David is that shepherd boy who found himself laying on his back, looking up at the stars and seeing the wonderful grandeur of our God. And he said, praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I believe he probably started singing, how great is our God. You know, he sang that song before we even began to sing it. He says, praise the Lord. And how joyous are those who fear the Lord and delight in obeying his commandments. David is now older. He has learned more about God and he has learned more about himself. He has learned that his joy is nestled in his faith in almighty God. His joy is not based upon his current contemporary situation, but is based upon his relationship with God. Therefore, he sees himself as being a child of God. Here in the passage, he says that uh, their children are successful everywhere and every generation of the godly people are blessed. David now understands God has blessed him with a son named Solomon and Solomon was going to be the one that God chose to build the temple. Uh, before they had dwelled in a temporary dwelling, they had a tabernacle. But now God is revealing unto Solomon how he will build that house. Now, David knows that he received the blessings, but the blessing is now to his child, his son. You and I must remind ourselves that God's blessings are not just for us, but they're for the generations that follow who obey his commandments. It is important for us to understand that obedience is the high road of consecration and, and making sure that we deliberately are serving Christ. They find themselves who serve God are wealthy, not just only in physical wealth, but they have the wealth of the spirit. And whatever they do becomes lasting because whatever we do, as the psalmist said, for Christ will last. God's light shines upon him and it becomes a generational blessing that we tell everybody that we are blessed because we are the children of God, because we obey him and we generously lend our money and we conduct fair business practices. You know, this Psalm begins to remind all of us that when God has blessed us, he doesn't want us to keep the blessings to ourselves, but to share them with others. That means we have sound and fair business practices. We are making sure that we pay our employees. We're making sure that they have a livable wage. We're making sure they have a place to live. And we never allow ourselves to be overcome with the evil of profit, P-R-O-F-I-T. But we make sure that we know that God always has a prophet, someone to teach and to preach and remind us to remember the word of God. It is because of that. David begins to remind us that not only he, but all of us will never fear any bad news because our trust is in almighty God. This was even before it was written. Uh, David helps us to put a Romans 8:28. And now we know that all things are working together for the good of those who love God, for those who are the called according to his purpose. He understands that his relationship with God influences everything that happens around him. And he will never find himself being infiltrated with sin or wickedness. That means you and I have to keep the things out that never belongs. And David gives us just what we need to know to remind us that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And God has a great blessing in store for you. And I look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. 
download today. Select giving from the main menu and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.